lovely turtleneck, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. It's a dress. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank you very much. Uh, excited to talk to you about, you know, the third installment of the girlfriend experience. I got a yeah. chance to watch a couple of the episodes and I'm like, whoa, she took on a role quite intense. Oh yeah, thank you. I, you know, I'm such a big fan of this show and um, Steven Soderbergh was obviously such a big draw for me to um, be a part of this, but uh, it was just really a privilege to work with our showrunner, Anya Marquot. She wrote it, she directed it, she produced it. She really did, you know, all the work. So I kind of just felt like she created this safe little universe for me to play. Did it facilitate the fact that it was a female that was there to, for, for directing? You know, people ask me that and I, I think that it's not really a gendered issue for me in terms of this job specifically. I think, um, you know, Steven also made me feel very safe. I was able to reach out to him if need be. I think that Anya as a person is very cognizant of other people's needs. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, men and women can learn from that. I think that um, my experience is not that uh, one gender can, can direct a sex scene better, um, but I felt very safe with intimacy coordinators. You know, it was very, um, filming a sex scene is very asexual. Mm -hmm. That's why when I was watching, I got a chance to watch a few of the episodes and that's the, I was like, wow, how did she, how did she do that? How did she manage? And not only that, but I admire your character's confidence and super comfortable with herself. Oh yeah, well, I think she's a complicated character because you know she's an intellectual. She drops out of um, Harvard uh, neuroscience to go uh, work at a tech startup in London. She decides to be a girlfriend, which is sort of a high-end escort by night um, and on the weekends. And she kind of decides to merge those two jobs. And so I think that her confidence definitely comes from her brain, from her vision, from her ability to compartmentalize her life. Um, I just don't think that she's, you know, she's still 26. So I, I think that her Achilles heel, which is fun, is that uh, she's not particularly self-aware. And so um, that was fun. I didn't want to make her like a superhero. Mm -hmm. But still, I, it, it's admirable to see that confidence. Uh, and then also, can you talk a little bit about what challenges you're actually looking forward to for adding to your career with this series? Oh, well, I was just, um, like I said, I was just such a huge fan. And I, I love being able to be on set and learning from every single department. And the privilege that I had on this show was um, that I was in every scene. So I really got to see close up, like, what does the art department do? What do the bricks do? Um, you know, what, what, how does the stand-in figure this aspect of the shot out? What does the DP do? So I got to ask a lot of questions and I think that that's what I'm um, sort of most looking forward to in my career is being able to just learn from people who really know what they're doing. What was one of the scenes that I looked forward to shooting? You know, there's, I think there's this sort of, um, the show is mostly about the intersection between desire and technology. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I think the undertone of the show is the sort of deep humanity that this character has and how sensitive she is and her deep care for her father who has Alzheimer's. And so there's, um, you know, there are fewer scenes with the family, but I loved shooting the family scenes because I really feel like they grounded this character in um, something that really motivated her to try to be successful, not just for herself, but for her, for her family. That's, that's actually one of the, the parts that I enjoy that in this case, for this season, we get to see a vulnerable side. Well, I think what I love about this franchise is that the protagonist is always kind of enigmatic. And I think that that um, makes the audience think. And I, I love that as a viewer. Um, you know, I hate when you're watching something and it's like talking down to you or that there's a ton of exposition or, you know, this, this show um, operates from the point of view that the audience is intelligent, they can figure it out. Um, but yes, the season differs from previous seasons somewhat because we can see that she um, is sad in a sort of universally understood way. Um, 
you know, when you're seeing a family member deteriorate. And um, so that definitely, I think, might make the audience very invested in her journey. Mm -hmm. And can you talk a little bit about the cinematography uh, location? Yeah, we had this amazing DP, Zach, who worked with our showrunner and director, Anya, before on her first feature, which was called She's Lost Control. And um, so they had like a really amazing shorthand and they, you know, were in agreement on, um, it was just so interesting seeing them collaborate. Uh, and, you know, London is a character in this show for sure. And we somehow, the, you know, the locations department found like the most stark architecturally sort of brutal and, um, clinical parts of London to shoot in, which is very much in the aesthetic of the show. And then it was also just great to be in London for me because um, I'd never been. And when was this, when did this take place? We shot during the pandemic. We shot um, really? from July to October of last year, 2020. Uh, yeah. Wow, so soon you guys got it out. We really got it out. I know that's mostly Anya. I mean, she had to write it, direct it, produce it. Like she really did everything. We had some amazing support um, from, you know, we had a COVID supervisor and we had everybody really followed protocol and sort of kept their side of the street clean so that nobody got sick and could just kind of get it out. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, and just to finalize, is there something you can share that you may be working on or will be seeing you in? You know, I'm in school right now and I, I was so oh, spoiled. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Um, I was so spoiled with this show that I am trying to, you know, really read scripts and figure out what I want to do next. So I'm not really in a rush. All right. Well, good to you. And going back to school, that's, that's big for us adults. Sometimes we really think about it and don't do it. <laughs> I know it's going to be me and a bunch of 18 year olds, which is going to be so cool. <laughs> well, you'll definitely rule. Thank you so much for your time. And you're welcome. Bye-bye.